Hi, it's Bailey from the corner of my room. Isn't it great? I know most of you know I'm in Park Ridge, really just from the corner of my room. There's roommates over there, like two of you are with me, so is this going to be like one of those little videos on YouTube where they're like, I'm going to whisper to you now. I'm going to show you a fluffy kitten, and I'm going to whisper to you. The kitten loves you. The kitten, she loves you. Good. Now I'm going to crinkle some paper. Really Have you ever found yourself in that part of YouTube with those videos? They have some sounds like writing on a piece of paper that are actually kind of nice, but then there's other sounds like just constant whispering that are kind of creepy. I sat down doing this having no idea what I'm going to talk about. And then I remembered I spent most of the day learning about John Williams. <laughs> Here are some fun facts about John Williams. Hopefully you'll find them interesting. So John Williams known for winning a lot of awards. He is actually the second most nominated person ever for the Academy Awards. And he has 49 nominations, which puts him just behind Walt Disney, who has 59. For some reason I thought that he was probably the one that won the most Grammys. Then I looked online and I realized that John Williams has the same number of Grammys as Kanye West. It's a lot. It's like 21 or something like that. I don't know why Kanye West has that many Grammys, but good for him. I suppose. John Williams actually earned his most awards in a row for the first Star Wars film. Just for the score of A New Hope Alone, he won an Academy Award, a Golden Globe, a BAFTA, and three Grammys just for that movie. What makes the Star Wars score really cool is that he borrows extensively from Gustav's Hulse of the Planets, which is about planets, and the movie is about different planets, not the ones in like the original whole symphony, but planets. That's the way to know it's popular is learning from your peers. People are mad that he's not being original, but I think that's kind of neat that he's playing off other ideas. Just even though he's borrowed from many different composers, he makes sort of an aesthetic all his own. Like if you listen to a John Williams, you can tell that it's a John Williams, really. How about you? But if I hear some kind of film score and it's big, grandiose, and kind of bright, I just assume it's John Williams. Which just sometimes is, sometimes it isn't. Which is great. The fact that he's able to compose so many memorable themes is just astonishing to me. It's like getting an idea in someone's mind. Once you get that hook in there, it's, you're done. You're going to be singing that for the next five weeks. <laughs> So anyway, I hope this video had some focus. John Williams is a pretty cool dude. Hopefully I'll see you next Thursday with another video. So in all seriousness, goodbye. I hope I see you again next Thursday. See ya. You can see the back of my hair. Ew, it's like, it's like I'm getting a mullet. Look at that. <laughs>